In Puerto Rico, Governor Ricardo Rosselló said Sunday he's ordering Puerto Rico's Electrical Power Authority to cancel its controversial $300 million contract with the tiny Montana-based company Whitefish Energy. The governor's move came after enormous pressure and scrutiny over the contract to reconstruct Puerto Rico's electrical power grid devastated by Hurricane Maria. The company Whitefish is based in the tiny hometown of Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, and the head of the private equity company that backs Whitefish was a Trump campaign donor. Late last week, a leaked copy of the contract sparked even further outrage after it surfaced that the terms barred penalties for work delays and prohibited the project from being audited. This is Anjo Figueroa Jaramillo president of Puerto Rico's Public Utility Union, speaking on Democracy Now! Saturday. Nosotros entendemos que esta determinación del gobernador es ante los grandes cuestionamientos y la duda que está puesta en vigor de que FEMA pueda reembolsar el dinero. Y ante esta posibilidad que FEMA ya se distanció de pagar y reembolsar el dinero y ante la facturación de 11 millones de dólares, pues eh, el gobernador está actuando pidiendo ese, esa cancelación del contrato, más sin embargo, en este proceso no ha pedido ni la renuncia del ingeniero Ricardo Ramos, que es primordial, que, que es quien ha defendido el contrato, no habla de continuar eh, investigando el proceso y sobre todo no habla de colaborar en cualquier investigación federal que se pueda desarrollar contra el contrato de Whitefish. We conducted that interview on Sunday, uh, after spending the weekend in Puerto Rico, and we'll have an exclusive report later in the broadcast with an extended interview with the head of the Electrical Power Union.